Hey y'all, I'm back. So I have um, a message for y'all. I'm hearing somebody, this is what I'm hearing. Like somebody could be dealing with someone that all they care about at this moment in time is their reputation. Okay, I'm getting that somebody that you're dealing with or previously was dealing with, um, they care about how they are viewed. They care about what people say about them, what people think about them, okay? So everything has to match. Like, they have a certain image to upkeep. And I feel like for some of you, y'all are very unique. You're very different. You bring something, a different flavor that most people aren't aware of or they haven't tapped into themselves and they feel intimidated by it. Even this person could feel intimidated by this energy that you bring okay i feel like you're very magnetic you're very your aura is just beautiful but people fear what they don't understand okay let's let's make that clear people fear what they don't understand okay so i want to take a look into this energy because i feel like this message is for select people Okay, this is a message for a select people, for a select few. I want to see what is it about you? What is it about you? Why are you so different? How does this person view you? How does others view you? We got the warrior. You could come off as very. You have this this warrior energy about you. I'm not gonna say that you're masculine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. You come off at times as like very go getterish hustler type of energy you come off as you know like a go getter okay you you know how to use that masculine energy okay you know how to you have your moments because we got cypress here you got your, you have your moments where you come off as very like hustler type go getter i'm gonna go get it it don't matter i go get it i feel like this intimidates this person also but you're very beautiful you're very beautiful and you're very loyal okay so these are your good qualities but i feel like this energy in particular this warrior energy about you intimidates the hell out of this person it intimidates the people that they around it intimidates their family members it intimidates their friends i feel like it's just intimidation okay because you have a I'm not going to back down. And I feel like even though you have this energy inside you, you're still very on the outer. You're still very beautiful. It's still, you got this feminine energy about you on the outer. But your inner is a warrior. Okay? So this confuses people. This intimidates people. This, this, this is why people are intimidated because you're beautiful on the outside. Very beautiful. Very well put together. But you have a no-nonsense energy. You know, sometimes people can be very beautiful, and on the inside, they're, like, really kind and sweet, and they get ran over and trampled over because they don't have, they don't know how to stand up for themselves. You know how to stand up for yourself. You're not going to let anybody walk all over you. This intimidates this person, and it makes this, it makes this person feel some type of way because... When they go around their friends, when they go around their family, they, you know, they probably getting laughed at, picked on, like, oh, she run a relationship, she wear the pants. Oh, you got to go check in with her. It makes this masculine feel small. You got that warrior energy. You got that hustle about you. You got that go get an energy about you you got that i don't need nobody if you here today go tomorrow 
it is what it is. I'm still gonna be standing. I'm still gonna gonna make something shake. This is intimidating to this person. This is super duper intimidating. What is family and friends? How does this people how does this person feel about this warrior energy? How does this how does this masculine feel about this warrior energy? How does this masculine feel? They may want to take it from you. They feel like it could be a facade. Like you're wearing a mask. I feel like this person wants to take some of that from you. Like they wish that they could they could take it from you. Yep, look at this. Knight of Swords and the Empress. I'm telling you. You giving off. You get I feel like you could have been this way since a child. Okay? This just what it is. It's in you, not on you. They can't take this from you. Because they ain't give it to you. Some of y'all have a daughter that's just like you. She got that warrior spirit. Yep, the will. They're saying that they could, they, they want to change you. They want to change your image. King of Pentacles could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This person wants to change your image. They wanted, They wish that they could take that from you and then put something else on you. Put something else in you. Put a different energy in you. You got that fire. You're passionate. You go after things. You're adventurous. You, you're not afraid to do new things. I told you they're trying to take that from you. They tried to change you in order to be in this relationship. Ten of Cups. In order to work on this connection, they feel like you stand up to them. They feel they fear that that you would actually stand up to them. You would actually walk away. You would actually, you know, call them out on their bullshit. You would actually take it a step further. You would actually show their ass what it is. If they do something to you, okay, I'm gonna do it to you. They feel like you need to make some changes. Why is this King of Pentacles here? The sun. Could be a Leo. They feel like you have the potential to screw them over. Like, you have the potential. To, you don't have that lay there and just take it. Energy. They don't know how to take that. Yeah, they think it's too much. They think it's too much. Like, it's just too much for them. They said, that, look, they seen worse. They say, look, I done seen worse. I've seen worse. But, you know, she got it bad, okay? She got a lot of masculine energy. She could do what you do. She probably could do what you do a little bit better. And But instead of this masculine embracing that, see, this masculine want this things to go back to how it was. Look at this, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, we got a King of Pentacles here where your two were a match. Y'all both was on the same page. They want to go back to that. They wanted to go back to that, but this person done made a warrior out of you. This person done made a sa This person, they done turned your savage all the way up. I feel like they played a part in this. I'm getting, this person took you for granted and it changed you. Yeah, this person wants things to go back to how it was. Queen of Cups. You could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. This person wants things to go back to how it was 
when y'all first started out. When y'all first started, when y'all first started hooking up and talking and communicating, I feel like maybe you wasn't, you, they felt like you was kind of green. Like you wasn't that materialistic. You wasn't, you weren't hungry. I'm going to say that. You wasn't that hungry. I feel like y'all got this hustler's energy. Y'all got this go-getter energy y'all wasn't really that hungry for it for it like that y'all really wasn't hungry for success maybe you was just taking whatever was coming at you and you know you was content this person wants you to go back to that energy they feel like you're too excited about life like they want you to turn it down they want you to turn it down they want you to tune it down so they can shine let's not forget that so they can shine They feel like you like you take uh they feel like you take up the decision. They feel like you be taking energy from them, you're taking their spot, but they're supposed to be doing, you know, so they feel like it's just too much. Now I'm gonna say this in a sense. It just depends on what type of type of person that you're dealing with. Because sometimes that could be a good thing, sometimes that could be a bad thing. Some people know how to channel that energy and put, okay, baby, let's sit down and let's put this energy here. You 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 hungry for that? Okay, let's see. let's get a gold book. Let's sit down. Okay, put that energy over there, babe. Go get it. They don't know how to do that. Instead, they butt heads with you and say, "Oh, I'm the I'm the man. You supposed to do do woo, woo, woo. And even if that was to be said, it still seems just like a power trip. I don't feel like you have to dim someone's light so you can shine brighter. I don't feel like that should be the objective. I don't feel like that should be the aim, what the goal is. If you got somebody that's hungry for something, somebody that you either can get on the same page with them or let that person go. This person feel like this is what made them walk away. So this person could have walked away because they feel like you are too, like you, you, you coming off too strong. You coming off too strong. They want you to tone things down. They want you to dim your light. So this person is trying to, yeah. like this person they 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 don't understand what is is coming from they just want things to go back to how it was this person does want to start over but they want to start over they're they're sitting here having regrets they want that i'm hearing but i want that old thing back they want that old thing back. <laughs> See, this person want that old thing back because they was able to ask you for things. They was able to get over on you. They was able to manipulate you. They was able to get, like I said, maybe your boundaries weren't set. Maybe you weren't. You was just comfortable with what was going on. Maybe it was a learning process. There are some things that you may not have known about yourself. And I feel like over time you've grown, and this person is still on the same on the same level like they want you to come back down to their level yep i feel like they feel like you've been taking notes from somebody like you've been whatever it is you're growing past this person eight of pentacles queen of pentacles six of wands they notice your growth they noticed your growth. I don't feel like they they like it. They don't know where it's coming from. That's just like I said. They don't know where this is coming from. Where did you get this? Where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? Like it was just dark all of a sudden. Now it's light. Like what is, what is this dark energy and light? And what is this about?
this person feels like they don't even really know you. They just know that you're different. You've grown. You're, you're elevating, but they don't know where it's coming from. They don't understand it. It's scaring them. You want you you're hoping that this would inspire them to grow up. <laughs> Get you. It's like you telling this person catch up. I see you. You don't know who I am, huh? See, yeah, I like this. Cause see, you coming off as like, oh, oh, I've grown, haven't I? Why haven't you? Why haven't you accomplished anything? They're looking at your accomplishments and feeling some type of way. These are accomplishments. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands. This is a job well done. Queen of Pentacles, you're sitting in your Queen of Pentacles energy. You're abundant. They see that. They feel robbed, like like you took something from them. And they don't understand when or when, where did this happen? When did this come about? You weren't like that before. You done started standing up for yourself. I feel like you guys were on a, in an on-again, off-again relationship. But this is stuck in this person's mind. They feel like they, they don't know what happened. They're not sure what happened in between in between the times that y'all weren't around each other. But they don't feel like, you know, it's going it's the same. They don't feel like things are the same between y'all. See, this is this person's problem. They want things to stay the same. They want things to be stagnant. They don't want to see you grow. And it's weird. Because if you love somebody, you would accept, you know, their growth, things that come with them, things that people been through. This person is like they don't even know you no more. They got to take their time to get to know you all over again. They got to learn you all over again. They say that you're not the person that you was before. They don't They don't know how to, no other way to say it. They feel like maybe you've been cheated on, dogged out. Um, they feel like, you know, then just say that. Let's talk about it. Out of the blue, just bring it up. So, so we could talk about it. They want to talk about the things that happen in between these gaps, these spaces. But they didn't realize that you was going through something. They didn't know that you was going through something. Because you, I feel like you put on this, this you got the strength about yourself, this superpower. They look at you like you're a superwoman, like that, or superman. They didn't think that it was that big of a deal to them at that time. But they realizing they realizing the part that they played, the five of swords and the devil here. They're realizing the part that they played. They are watching you. They're stalking you. Not just watching, they're stalking you. Um, but they're definitely like, they have to get to know you all over again. You're not the same. Yep. You're not the same part. You're not the same. Look at this. The... Five of Pentacles, Hierophant, and the Empress. You're not the same woman here. You're not the same man here. You don't play by the same set of rules. You're different. You're completely different. You're completely different. It's like this person feels like they're in a whole, when they're around you, they feel like they're in a whole different relationship. Like it don't feel the same. It don't feel the same to them. It's like they want to owe you back. They're definitely watching you. Because they're trying to get some answers. And they're trying to find out if something is true or not. Um... I feel like they're waiting. They've heard that you've been dealing with somebody else. They're kind of at a jealous state, but they're kind of waiting for y'all to break up so they can figure out what's going on because they don't have a clue. They don't have a clue. They're not sure what to think about you at this point. You're just coming off as so different. You're coming off as completely different. You're a completely different person. You're different. And you see what that time and that space has done when somebody betray you or you go through some type of hurt it does change you 
they just don't understand why you're so different now. They man, they're used to dealing with people that they can hurt them, hurt them, hurt them, and but they could keep going back and keep doing that over and over again. I feel like you done put up boundaries all over the place. This has turned you into a superwoman, Superman. This has turned you into a beast that they're afraid of. They don't even know how to come and approach you. And like I said, however, you're very beautiful. You're very nice looking on the outside. But that spirit, though, that spirit ain't nothing to play with. That spirit ain't nothing to play with. Y'all not playing Y'all not playing with nobody. Nobody finna play with your talk at all. Y'all let me know what's going on in that conversation below, honeys. All right, I'm going to chat with y'all later.